Your DNA carries memories of events that never happened. When scientists taught mice to fear a specific scent, their third generation offspring inherited the same fear through DNA bound chemical tags. This discovery unlocks a 3,300 year old mystery from this week's Parsha, where Moshe declares a covenant not just with those present, but with whoever is not here with us today. How could the Torah describe transgenerational inheritance thousands of years before science discovered its mechanism? The very Maharash explains that covenants create Rashimu, a permanent spiritual impression that transcends time. This is not a metaphor, it is a mechanism. Intense experiences attach methyl groups to our genes, altering their expression for generations. Environmental exposures can modify DNA for at least four generations. But if trauma can scar the genome, can a sacred covenant heal it? The Torah's answer lies in the word Hayyim, today, appearing seven times in our Parsha. Seven represents the complete cycle of creation, suggesting that each today is a portal for genetic renewal. The command see I've placed before you today, life and good, from Devarim 30, is not just moral guidance, it is epigenetic instruction. For example, researchers demonstrated that positive maternal care can reverse inherited stress by erasing these traumatic genetic tags. When you choose life through a mitzvah today, you deploy molecular tools that can alter inherited trauma one methyl group at a time. This is the process described by the promise that Hashem will circumcise your heart and the heart of your offspring in Devarim 30. Each good choice sends signals through your genome, circumcising the epigenetic coverings that block your divine potential. As Rosh Hashanah approaches, we understand that our standing, our nitzavim, is an active positioning of our biological antenna for transformation. The shofar's call awakens the ancient Rishimu in our DNA, preparing the world for the era of Mashiach, when the material and metaphysical will finally be seen as one reality. Your next mitzvah does more than elevate your spiritual standing. It inscribes that holiness into the biological inheritance of your descendants, ensuring both the code of our DNA and our soul's attributes will ultimately be read as one. If you enjoy these unique Torah insights, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter. The button is below the subscribe button. And be sure to share this video with family and friends. And make sure to click here to see the playlist of other similar three-minute Torah and Science Devar Torahs. Have a great Shabbos.